using BrainTap myself started to have effects on my mood and my sleep, and then my afternoon energy. So I started using it first in the midday when I take my break between clients, and I noticed man, I feel completely different than before. Well, we started to use, as you mentioned, the technology. We would use some of our technology which to measure certain brain function. And then with some of these clients, I did the brain tap session with them that I directed. Then we went back and we re-measured and what I found blew my mind. Hello, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm your host, Dr. Patrick Porter. I'm here today with Dr. Bagnell, who's one of our featured doctors. He's doing some incredible things, but I want to ask him, first of all, Doc, how did you find out about BrainTap? Well, BrainTap was exposed to me at the Florida Chiropractic Association. I met you, I met your team there, and I saw the, the, the technology, and I was intrigued by that, and uh, so that's what began the conversation. Right. And you're, you're a functional neurologist as well. So you're doing a lot of work with the brain. Uh, how do you find, how do you find brain tap works in with your, because you have a lot of really high end equipment. I mean, this is like really low tech compared to some of the things I know you have in your office. So tell us a lot of people think we're high tech, but they have never been to a functional neurologist office, you know, so tell us a little bit about how you integrate it into your practice. Yes. Yeah, so, well, you know, I, I was I, initially to be quite honest, I was a little skeptical because I'm just that way. I, I'm kind of, uh, and I, I, I try to be careful about that. I, I want to understand how something works, why it works, um, so that, that when I integrate it, that people can trust what I'm saying. And I feel that I know, okay, I understand this. So uh, I started out with that. Uh, your, your team actually gave me a device to, to test and to try, and then sent me all the data to understand how certain aspects of it work. I was very impressed with that. I started to use it. And as you gave me more direction of to try this and that direction for the different applications, I really started to see, oh, this thing has pr profound effects on myself. So as I said before, in another time we were talking, I've had numerous concussions. I'm not suffering terrible effects, but I have had some. I've done a lot of brain training. So mm -hmm. I do have some effects, but I noticed that using BrainTap myself started to have effects on my mood and my sleep. And then my afternoon energy. So I started using it first in the midday when I take my break between clients. And I noticed, man, I feel completely different than before. I mean, I like to have my tea or coffee in the afternoon, but my brain felt different. I felt more awake. I felt more relaxed and I felt sharper. So I started to notice it. Then as I read the data, I was very impressed. That's great. What have you seen happening with your patients and clients that you're using? Well, we started to use, as you mentioned, the technology. We would use some of our technology which to measure certain brain function. And then with some of these clients, I did the brain tap session with them that I directed. Then we went back and we re-measured. And what I found blew my mind. I was so surprised that one session at a time had such a profound effect on some of these brain measurements. So we continue to do that. We continue to assess different brain functions. There's many different pieces of technology we use to see how profound the effects are on the brain and how long they last. So a lot of people will say, well, it's only, it doesn't last that long, but your brain starts to adapt to this stimulus, just like working out if you're going in the gym. So if you work your brain out in this way on a daily basis, guess what? It's gonna wanna maintain that, that plasticity or that directionality, if you will. So we measure the changes. We've seen people with concussions improve. You have to understand how to use the, the technology, right? So you've helped me understand how to apply it. And with my knowledge in concussion recovery, there's do's and there's don'ts. But I can say without a doubt, the amount of people that can benefit from, from using BrainTap is, is, is pretty much everyone. There's all kinds of applications. Um, we use it in the office in between sessions because we'll see clients multiple times in a day. So our model is that we have people that will travel in or are in town for a week or so, but we have people in town that are regular and we'll work with them for a, a brain rehabilitation or brain performance. Like with some of our athletes, they'll have a brain tap session in between possibly neurofeedback, and then they'll go back and do another session of brain performance or brain rehab. So we have to get their brain to have a, a fast recovery because we're working them really hard to get them to another level. So we use it and then we provide these units for our clients outside so that it's helping them in the evening to sleep, to recover on their own after workouts, to help their family, to, to settle down their brainwave activity through all the stress of the environment. It's one of the most profound low cost tools that we can use for, for great technology. 
great. And I know you're doing some other creative things like the sign behind you, the, the dolphin camp. So tell us a little bit about the what got you thinking about dolphin camp and, and then including the brain tap as part of that. Well, our brain camp with the dolphins we run and we'll be running those throughout next year, hopefully, um, uh, as long as the, the environment is conducive to that. But our brain camp is a three to five day time where clients will come in, they'll go down to the Florida Keys with us with all types of different uh, brain conditions and some wanting just better performance. And we integrate brain tap into that. So they'll spend time in the water with the dolphins on some applications that I've developed uh, for water-based brain training. Then they'll do things on land. They'll be using brain tap in an in-between session. And we do that repetitively over a few days and we map out all the changes that their brain has. But brain tap has always been an integral part of that for me uh, because we know that I know that I know that I know that the yeah. it changes the brain and we have the data to show it. That's great. Well, appreciate that. Now, we have some doctors, of course, that'll be watching this that aren't brain tappers yet. They haven't they haven't uh, done the research maybe, or they're just learning about it. That some uh, Maybe a doctor friend told them about it, or maybe they went somewhere and saw it. What would you say to them is that should be their next step in as far as uh, getting involved with brain tap? Well, I would say uh, you got to get yourself a unit and try it on yourself, number one. And then getting a few units and using them in the office with some clients is really a, a great way to get, you know, it is a practice, right? We have practices. So you have to integrate the model. I'm an adopter. I'm an early adopter. And I, I jump in with both feet. Mm. I'm actually looking at my pool right outside here. But mm. I jump in. I'm like, okay, if I'm learning this. I want to see if this works. And if I'm getting a new technology, I'm going to put it into the practice. So I know how that is, though. You have a lot of things on your plate, but brain tap really works itself. So, uh, you know, in the early days of chiropractic, they would give adjustments. And this is some of the founders. And they would have the client go across the room and lay down in a small room to let the body just kind of adapt to that. Well, you can think about brain tap like that. You can do your care, whatever it might be. And then you can use the brain tap. Uh, so I would say using it yourself, your own family, and also a few units to start using in the office is, is a remarkable way. I know one doc that uh, does similar work to me. He has one as a part of everyone's plan. They come into his office, they use it in his office, and then he's giving them a unit. It's built into the cost of their plan. That's great. Well, I appreciate it. And I, I always appreciate you helping us out with the with the docs at BrainTap. And you're always helping us uh, with our lectures. And, and when we get back to doing live events, of course, we're going to have you back again to have you there. But we appreciate you being part of all of our summits and sharing your knowledge with our with our doctors, because you've uh, you've invested a great deal of money and resources into what you're doing. And it's I'm I'm so happy that you're willing to share some of that knowledge with the rest of the profession. So thank you. Well, we always love people that can learn more by connecting with us on social media, all the different Bagnell Brain Center on social media, and you'll learn more about the brain on those things. Yeah, and we'll, we'll link them also to the video for the uh, for your dolphin camp because you put that together and we'll make sure that each of the doctors that gets this gets a chance to watch that as well. So thank you. Oh, all right, thank you very much. Thanks. All right, take care, bye.